You've just been promoted to your first management position. Congratulations. You did such a great job of your previous job that you now have a completely new job, managing people. But herein lies a challenge. You've never managed people before. When you went to university, you learned a lot about engineering, computer programming, marketing, or whatever job it was that you did. But you probably didn't learn much about how to manage people. And now you're discovering that's not so straightforward. You've got to tell people what to do, even when they don't want to do it. You've got to give people feedback, even when they don't want to hear it. And you've got to solve their problems, even when you don't want to. Managing people is an extremely challenging job, but it's also an extremely rewarding job when you learn how to do it right. And your most essential skill for managing people is communication. The better you communicate, the easier your life will be. And in this video, we're going to look at how to improve your communication skills. Hi everyone, I'm Jamie and I work as a coach and trainer and my channel is all about leadership tips for influencing, communicating and boosting productivity. If you find this video useful, you might be interested in my online course, Communication Skills for the Global Workplace. Check it out in the description below. And by the way, I spent many hours creating these videos, so if you could give me a like and subscribe, that would really, really make my day. Thank you. You're having a bad day. Your car broke down on the way to work, you've just finished a meeting with a horrible customer, and your boss is pressuring you to send them a report before lunch. As you sit down to take a breather, suddenly one of your team members walks in and starts complaining about their workload. There's too much to do and too little time and not enough support. How you respond in this moment will determine whether you prevent problems or create problems. Empathy is an essential skill for managers. The ability to put yourself in other people's shoes will ultimately make your life a lot easier. But the times when we need empathy the most tend to be the times when we are most likely to lack it. Just like in the situation I described earlier. You've got your problems and they want you to solve their problems. It would be very tempting to snap at them and tell them to think more about other people, but they're probably not gonna respond well to that. They'll get upset and maybe even angry with you, and that will just create more problems for you. You don't have to solve every problem they bring to you, and you especially don't have to solve them now, but you will be much better off if you stay calm, listen to them, and patiently explain that you'll talk to them when you have more time. As a manager, you will face a lot of situations like this, where you will have to put your own concerns aside for a little while and deal with other people's problems. But the sooner you can learn to do this, the easier your life will be. And you may even discover that by listening to them, they are actually much more likely to listen to you as well. You've probably already noticed that not every word you say gets through to people. Before you were a manager, that may not have been such a big problem. But now you're a manager, it's a big problem. You need your team to follow instructions, listen to feedback, and agree to finish things by certain times. Well, one skill that will ensure your words get through is storytelling. Storytelling is not just about telling stories. There is much more to it than that. Storytelling is ultimately about making meaning. So I have several tips for you to develop your storytelling abilities. Tip number one, show, don't tell. Stories don't tell you what happens. They paint a picture with words. Rather than say he was angry, a story will paint a picture by describing he threw his laptop out the window. So paint a picture for people. Use vivid words that describe things people can see, hear, feel, etc. Or even better, actually show them things instead of telling them. Don't tell them how to do something. Show it to them. Tip number two, give examples. Think of examples as mini stories. Whenever you make a point, back it up with an example that uses vivid language like I just described. Examples help ground things in context and ultimately make things easier to understand. And tip number three, build a story pool. A story pool is your memory bank of stories. It's really difficult to just make up a story on the spot, and it's much easier to take a story from memory. So build up your story pool. Notice things that happen every single day, especially situations that are a bit unusual, or challenges that you've overcome, or lessons that you've learned, as these make for great stories. 
Once you build up a big enough story pool, you'll find it really easy to take out stories on demand and use them to get your message across. And also, check out my book, The Story Habit, How Leaders Shape Stories That Drive Action, in the description below. Everyone is different. And because everyone is different, we can't treat everyone in the same way. Some people are really direct, and others are indirect. Some people are very sensitive, others are insensitive. Some people are detail-oriented, others couldn't care less about the details. At work, it's not uncommon to encounter difficult people. But it turns out a lot of the time the people we're calling difficult are just different. We shouldn't call them difficult people, we should call them different people. And to make them less difficult, we should treat them differently. If they like being direct, we can be direct with them. If they're insensitive, we don't have to be so sensitive around them. If they couldn't care less about the details, then let's stop giving them so many details. Observe how people are different to us and adapt. It can take a little while to figure out how best to adapt to people, and you won't always get it right first time. But by observing how their communication style differs to you, and then experimenting with different ways of adapting, eventually you'll find a way of getting along fine with them. So in this video, I've shared three ways of improving your communication skills. Firstly, start by developing your empathy, as this skill will make your life a lot easier in the long run. Secondly, master the art of storytelling, as this will ensure your words get through to people. And thirdly, remember, people are not difficult, they're just different. So observe their communication style, and do your best to adapt to it. What other tips do you have for improving your communication skills? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, you might be interested in checking out my online course, Communication Skills for the Global Workplace, in the description below. And if you want to put a smile on my face, then please give a like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.